up, roll up once upon a Christmas for all your seasonal pantomime needs. We've got magic, we've got light, we've got colour, we've got sound. Covent Garden, the heart of London's theatre land, is actually the set for a show this Christmas. Half guided tour, half theatre, the audience goes two by two into a series of encounters with panto characters. It's not for the faint hearted. As the audience, you have to get down and dirty, giving relationship advice and slagging off the baddies. In fact, Once Upon a Christmas is so hard-nosed that it's only for adults. It's making a show in a live environment where the public is wandering around and you've got characters dressed in fabulous panto costumes mingling in and out of the crowds has its problems. But I think that also adds to the theatricality of it because we have lots of people who know nothing about the show who are watching and engaging and enjoying the performances. Oh, there you are. Um, come with me, come with me, quickly. Have you met my mother yet? No? Good. She's awful. She's, she's bossy and grumpy and at times downright evil, but she's my mum, you know, so... Sorry. I'm rabbiting again. People assume stuff about me is all. People assume stuff... I play Griselda, one of the ugly sisters, and um, I talk to, the, talk to the audience a lot about um, my relationship with the, uh, Cinderella's wicked stepmother and we go into Wittards and we try tea and it's very interactive. You need to meet Brandy Button. He'll take you to where you're going. I think immersive theatre really has exploded in the last sort of 10 to 15 years in, in theatre. So it's something that the audience members are really after. They want something a little more live and more raw, an experience they can have and share with people rather than sitting in, in, in an audience and watching something. This is something that's a lot more personal to that person. Come and have the ride of your life, my friend. Come on. Brandy Butter's the name. Nice to meet you. Do you like it? See, I'm not used Once to Upon a Christmas you runs know, until the 15th of December. Can you tell? Yeah. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be from now on, A Merry Christmas is the first Christmas album from American R&B singer Mary J. Blige and includes all sorts of classic festive tracks. When people listen to A Merry Christmas, I just want, you know, it's Christmas time. So I just want it to fill their lives with love and joy and and give them, you know, and make them remember when they were children if they had some good Christmas memories and just make them feel good and just fill the world with love, fill the world with peace and joy and understanding, you know, that's, that was my goal. A Merry Christmas is already in shops. While retailers across the world compete for Christmas profits with a series of fuzzy feel-good adverts, the Kmart ad features men shaking their festive boxes along to the tune of Jingle Bells. The ad has unsurprisingly gone viral, notching up more than 7 million hits on YouTube, much to the disapproval of parenting group One Million Moms, which has denounced the ad as inappropriate. But Kmart, well known for controversial advertising, is unapologetic and has no intention of taking the ad off air. 